Welcome to Amateur Adventures. Today, we're going to Beckett Court. We both know the score. We have been here once before. So many words unspoken. You took my heart, it's already broken. You don't have to wait. I can take the pain. I will surrender. Let me go on a new adventure. See, before we actually start our hike, we've got uh, the Sullivan Drill here. It uh, looks like it used to be mounted right here. Yeah, and then uh, it's just kind of laying down over here. The drill bit. Too. That's the drill bit. Oh yeah! Drill. Look at that. There's a memorial stone. I'm not attempting that last night. Hmm. Huh, pretty cool. Pick Currently walking down the trail towards the quarry. Anything you want to say to anybody? I think it's going to be a long walk. Uh, yeah, we see no end in sight yet. <laughs> Well, all right, on our way up to the quarry, we found a cool cliff that uh, might be fun to fly a drone up, and it's been active tracking this whole time. I'll just uh, send it up there. There you go. Get a shot of it like what that. You, oh recording. wait, no, you were gonna you see it on there anyway, you ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm recording you. Yeah, what do you think? Looks like an old railroad spike. Or, oh, railroad spike. A railroad, railroad tie. Railroad actual fucking That's track. a railroad tie, yeah. Uh, yeah. I agree that that's what that looks like. We might have to go investigate that. Just on our walk up, some more uh, interesting rock formations. I'm sure this is all cut out. 
when they were digging all the rocks up for the minerals and everything. Sorry for the drone noise in the background, but you know, you know, we got drones. <laughs> <laughs> it's what we do. <laughs> you can tell these rocks were cut out because how squared off they are. Yeah. Big ass freaking rocks. Oh, look at these ones over here. These ones are really squared up. And you could tell equipment was used. You could see where the saw cut it. Oh no! This is a, this was this was a plaque. Somebody destroyed it. Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. I'm sure that was some cool information on the area. Well, you could see where the saw cut through too, though. Yeah, you know, and they made it. Wonder where the plaque went. Probably long gone now. Probably down there. Got a bunch of metal here. Some, those are like long bolts. Let's see if I can not fall going down this hill. And we got the uh, the trusty drone going kind of crazy at the moment. I'm waiting for it to crash, but it's not going to. I don't think it's gonna. I, this isn't as dense a foliage as the other day, but uh, it's still doing the uh, active track on me. But uh, this looks pretty cool. These are some huge, like, bolts or something. Someone in the comments tell me, like, what specifically they are. I don't know. All right, let's get back on the trail. Alright, your turn to climb. My turn to climb? There's a path going right up. I'm going up there? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Good thing I have my trusty walking stick. I am the king of the world! Is there a cool, cool view from up there? Yeah, actually. <laughs> I still can't see the rock pole Yeah. You still have a height. All right, this is what is on top of this cliff. I'll go out a little bit further. Let everybody see the view out here. That is what I see up here. And there's eyeballs up here. There's eyeballs right there, see? Friendly. I want to go up higher. I'll go up to the eyeballs. There we go. Wow. All right. We are on top. What a stunning view from up here. What an absolutely amazing view. You can see the valley below. All right. You could see where this was cut up as well. It's got a ripple effect. That's really cool. All right. Let's go back down and rejoin Sean. Preferably without dying. Because that is not something we want to do. We want to do this without getting injured. 
Preferably. I don't feel like carrying you out, and I don't think I could carry you out. Walking up the trail, and we saw this up ahead. And we got an old truck here. Let's check that out real quick. What's it say? We're going up. We gotta turn this way. Oh, it's actually a fairly large uh, loop and everything. Cool. Sean, we gotta go that way for the quarry. So we do have to go up to where the trail Yeah. Let's take a look at this truck. What's it say on the plaque? There are two trucks at this site that were abandoned when the quarry shut down. Both of these vehicles represent an evolution of technology from the rail system. The truck on the right is a compressor truck which gets compressed air to the storage tank visible further up as well. Compressed air is used to power many of the mining tools, such as the Sylvan Grill display in the parking area. The truck on the left is a haul truck, minus its trailer that is used to haul granite from Chester for processing. So, this is the haul truck, and that was the compressor truck. Yeah, that's not real compressor. The one that says stink. Because <laughs> people are a holes and have to graffiti everything. Look at the size of that engine. Yeah, that is huge. Wow. That's funny too, because that's the back of the truck. There's the cab. That wasn't even the engine. To oh drive wow! The truck. So this was, you said this was a compressor truck. Yeah. This so that's is the compressor. The Holy crap! The truck. So that's just the compressor. Looks like it. Holy wait, this is an inline eight. <laughs> Really? That's insane. Yeah. It's an inline eight cylinder. Think we could get it started? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, here's a big run of steel cable. I don't know what that's for. I think it was probably some sort of railing system they had. Or they were using it to pull, drag pull, it pull, pull yeah. drag things up and up the, up the hill. Let's go back to this uh, structure over here. Huh. Probably some sort of warehouse or something that they used. Yeah, you got equipment all over the place here. Oh, wow. Stiff leg Derek site. It's a crane. So that was a crane? or th This was. This was a crane, okay. Wow. That makes sense then why all the steel cable. Oh yeah, if you look at Looks the... Looks like they built it around either trees or telephone poles. No, they weren't, they weren't made into telephone poles. They were just straight up trees that look they built it into. This, oh my... God, that's the eye hook. Thing. Holy hell. Yeah. <laughs> that's a big chain link. <laughs> that's, uh, here, hold this for a sec. I mean, I got a good size hand, but like, <laughs> that is that's a big chain link. <laughs> Damn. What is this here? Ooh, this was old electrical. This is, here's nostalgic. Oh, it's Sergey box. Oh wow! It's still got the ceramic inside for the throw switches. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> the heck is this? Part of a vehicle? Part of a tractor? No. This 
the other side of that building. This had to have been a pump. Actually. Delco Appliance Corporation, Rochester, New York. A little bit of a four cylinder on it. I'm assuming it wasn't self driving because it doesn't look like. No, this was it some just sort looks of like it was generator pushed. or pump yeah, or something. That they just wheeled around. I don't know, maybe, maybe people watching the video can tell us exactly what some of this stuff is. That is a tiny envy. It's a little, little bit big guy. <laughs> That's the same size as that shackle over there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll continue on down the trail. Here's where the crane was attached. Oh, yeah, the cement block that the crane yeah, was going to, yeah. The huge bolts on it. And we don't know what this is, some sort of radiator or something? That looks like a giant oil tank, or maybe a diesel tank, in the back there. Oh yeah. So we walk back to this sign here, and uh, trying to figure out where we're going to go. We want to go to the quarry itself. So we're going to, we're not going to take the short trail. We're going to take the long trail up, and then check out the ruin up here, and check out the derrick here. And then we can overlook the quarry. But the, uh, anybody interested in coming up here for some nice hikes, there's a, a beautiful there's a place. beautiful area and there's a ton of trails. Oh, well, I don't know a ton, but there's a bunch of trails. There's a ton of broken down equipment up here. And there's yeah, lots of cool stuff to look at. There's a plaque up there too that we could record. Yeah. All right. We're a little ways up this trail now. We got another broken down vehicle here. That might be interesting to look at. This one was pulled. Pull. This was a puller. This is the front. This looks like the front to me. Switch in motion. Portable compressor unit. Huh. Oh, okay. So, so this is a trailer. That was a rail car. Yeah, it was a. The rail switch was located near this post. Rail cars coming downhill from the Derrick site could be diverted to the motion post number 10 via the rail gate. Let's see, is this where... Ran it. <laughs> huh. Oh, it looks like there's, uh, there's some rails still here, maybe? A portable compressor unit sits nearby that was used to power drilling machinery. It was built by Ingersoll Rand in the 1920s. Cool. There's more railroad track here. Yep, that was a railroad track. Well, not ties, those are the actual tracks. Yeah, and it's split, see? Yeah. Because it was a switch. Cool. So it must have come down this, this hill, must have been the actual rail trail. Yep, I believe that. That's why it's cleared. Interesting. I believe where you're standing is where the rail was. Yeah. And that cart just got left there. All right, we took a left at that uh, broken down uh, rail cart. And I believe it's going to bring us to where that rail cart would bring stuff to. Hopefully. Hopefully. This is the trail that we're walking down. And this was where the rails were. You can see actually on these rocks here, they actually cut all this away to make it as flat as possible for the rail to come through here. And they just dug it right all out. Nope, motion is the same thing as the other one. The motion is a mining term for a small localized quarry, so this is one of several motions near the main quarry pit. So this is another small localized quarry out of it. Oh wow. Yep. So this is one of the smaller digging sites basically. More. There's 
steel rods sticking right out of that. This granite here. I wonder if they use that to I bet you, I, no, I bet you there was a crane or something mounted to this to lift the uh the stones. The stones and stuff out. I'd be willing to bet. All these cut stones here. There's an entrance. <laughs> you have like little openings. Uh, well. Let's go caving. I was gonna say, right? As an animal comes out and attacks me from here. There's a big one right here. There's a huge open pit right here. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Let's go caving. You wanna go you wanna go spelunking? <laughs> I don't think it actually goes that far. Right, it might it might go far. I don't know. And then I'd say there was probably a huge storm here because that's a lot of trees that came down right there. On the other side. All right, we're gonna turn around and go back up towards the quarry. But this is pretty much where the that cart that we saw earlier would probably come down here. They loaded up with shit. Sorry, stuff. They loaded up with stuff. <laughs> Gotta be YouTube friendly. Only for the first 30 seconds. <laughs> But uh, all right, we'll pick back up on the other trail. All right, so so we were wrong before. We weren't at the ruins. We found another sign and took a left. Apparently, this is the ruins. Yeah, the trail stops dead here. Let's take a look. Whoa. What? There's a cave. That's a tunnel. Oh. Yeah. Well, we'll have to go take a look at that in a second. <laughs> Let's take the sunglasses off so I can see a little better. <sighs> wow, I should have brought a flashlight with me. Uh, my phone my phone's got really good low light, so I just can't get my sunglasses off. Okay, what is wrong with these? Yeah, you might not want to record this wall. Oh, yeah, we won't point at that wall. Or at that wall. There's some uh, inappropriate graffiti. This is pretty cool, though. It is. And they're, of course, they're using a steel I-beam in the center of it. See? Right here. Yeah. Somebody really has a fascination with drawing these things. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Let's take a look at the tunnel. Okay, if I get eaten... I'll run. Run, but come back and get the video evidence. Yes. If you get eaten, I'm going to send a drone. <laughs> that actually looks like it's not sealed. It's wet, though. Oh, yeah, very wet. I don't want to go in there. I'm not going. And therefore, I'm not sending a drone in there because <laughs> I'm going in there to retrieve it. Hey, cool. This is the couplings for the railroad, for the trains. Oh, wow. So that's what this was. They, they probably, the track probably, I mean, here's track. It went right into it. Yeah, though, there's, there's more track. You can see two uh, pairs inside here. Let me get a little closer look here. I'm not hearing any growling yet. <laughs> Echo. No. Echo! Uh, it can't be that deep. Yeah, you can go if you want. <laughs> Come on, we're supposed to be adventurous. <laughs> Here, I got flashlights. You got a flashlight? Oh, yeah, well, we both have flashlights, but. Here you go, sir. Go be adventurous. Yeah, if I can safely step through here, with you, with you with no hand, you stick. I'd rather the stick than the uh, than the light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna follow. 
So and I'm getting dripped on. Just FYI, I am going to follow. I don't know how much my phone's picking up of this. I don't think. I think that's the back wall right there, isn't it? Is it? Okay, now we have to go in. Oh, it's so squishy here, though. Yeah, do not fall in sneakers. Very aerated sneakers at that. Are you falling? I am. I'm right. Uh, I'm getting dripped on this. I'm standing on the train track. All right, it's gonna get dark, guys. Yeah, until Jay can catch up with uh, some light. Jay's right here. Okay, it's a little more solid here. Yep. A little more. More rocky. That is the back wall. I swear to God, that's the that wall. Is. This All curves right. around. Let's take a look at the walls here. Drilling it for focus. explosives. There we go. Oh yeah, that, that made it a lot better. We can just bring your uh, phone closer. That was for explosives. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh wow, they're deep too. Ooh. It's very drippy in here. Oh yeah. Let's go a little further in here if we can. I just realized I'm an idiot. I'm like, why is my flashlight so dim? I had sunglasses on. <laughs> no, that's it. It stops right there. That's, yeah. that's the wall. All right, now I can't see where I'm stuck. I got you. There you go. All right, let's just run the edges. This is better. All right, what's this on the ground here? Sorry for the low light people. We didn't think we'd need flashlight, actual flashlights. But, uh, but yeah, this is the end. We'll go a little closer to the wall so the light lights up better. Of this mountain. Yeah, oh yeah. What's that shiny over there? Is that water or? That is water. That's water leaking out. I know exactly what you're talking about right there. Yeah. That's water. Because that is a stick that's stuck in that wall, too. But yeah, that's water. Well, we know where all the water's coming from. <laughs> well, we know that they were going to keep going further, but for some reason they stopped. Yeah, they must have. Uh... They, they must have found a small vein yeah. that led into here, and then they probably hit the end of the vein. That that could be, because they just mm. stopped drilling. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, and from this is the view of outside. Yep. I can, I can watch Jay exit. Okay. You can follow in my footsteps. <laughs> oh, I can see from this angle. Yeah, I can see. Where, like, where it's best to go like that? Yeah. All right, out. All right, wish me luck with one hand. Pretty cool, though. Wish it was a little drier, but I don't think it'll ever get that dry in here. <laughs> I love that. All right, let's go back to uh, the other trail and back towards the quarry itself. Oh, heading towards the main quarry. Oh, those are train wheels. Well, what's this here? That's we got a, We got another plaque. Stiff leg Derek. So the Derek is up there. Huh. And that was the wall I pointed out to you. Mm -hmm. Among these objects are grout pan which was used to remove the waste grout from the quarry pit and wheels from the original rail cars. A stiff leg derrick was also located at this site. Look for the wheels. I already found one of the wheels. It's right there. Oh, Jay's going up ahead to take a look. Let's see. All these cut stones look cool. So... Steel cable from the pulley is still going across this too. Really? It's still. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, it is. Let's see if I can get the camera in closer to show that. 
I might actually yeah. launch the drone and have it follow that cable. Yeah, go for it. Go sit up the right where the go sit up there where the, the uh Yeah, and just have it run that cable and see where that cable comes out. Yeah. You know? oh, yeah, we're gonna walk up uh these rocks here. And uh, have a little drone fun. Leave my bag and take my drone. Quit pushing me. <laughs> I thought that was a telephone pole, honestly. That's clearly not a telephone pole. Nope, they had another crane attached to this. That's Got another one of those gigantic... Well, this one's actually a little bit smaller than the first one, but... It's still freaking huge. Oh yeah, you can get up there. Right up that... that. Not even on the rocks, go up behind it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with the rocks right here. I'm going up the path of least resistance. Oh, it's tied to the tree, look at it. There you go. Oh, wow, that's... Yeah, that is some serious... Quite the pulley thing. and... Uh... The tree grew around it, it grew through it. That's cool. I guess I'll follow you. <laughs> Why? Because I seem to have a clue? Are you implying that I don't have a clue? Maybe. <laughs> I'll accept that. <laughs> there was power up there. I don't want to push it down, but... Well, I imagine for uh, all the powered equipment, they'd have to have some sort of power, yeah. Okay, there's the cable. Oh, it's going right up to the mast. That one's still standing. Oh, wow. I don't even have to fly it. I'm going to. But... Now we'll get a better view of that. That pole that's on the ground is that right there. So we got... This is the cable that we're looking at from down below. Which, that actually goes... It's mounted to that tree. That's, that goes to that pulley that we saw coming yeah. up. Cool. And on the other end of it, there's more cables, too. There's... I'm gonna say Let's probably see. six. Can the camera see it? Oh, yeah, it's going all the way up to the pole there. Should I launch a drone? And yeah, yeah, we'll fill the drone up and see what's up here. All right, we're gonna switch to drone view. Okay, recording camera on the drone. Find it, get oriented. Wow, that's the rock quarry. I found the quarry. There it is. What are we looking at? I am obviously staying above it because there's still cables coming off the... Yeah, stay above those cables. Okay. Come. Wow, those cables go all over. They do. Here, I'll give you the... No, that's all right. Just keep recording it. I'll hold this. I trust you a lot more than I trust me, I'm sorry. When it comes to uh, following the cables and crap. It's very windy up here too. I'm surprised it's not throwing a wind warning because you heard it taking off. Yeah, that's what we have to look forward to over there. Oh, I can't wait to get a closer look. Yeah, me neither. That's gorgeous. I don't want to fly down there, though. No. I don't blame you. Because there are, like, seven or eight cables coming off that tower. But yeah, that is beautiful. Yeah. looks pretty damn deep too it does like I honestly didn't even know there was a lake up here until I saw it on the map as we were coming up you know
Let's fly back and then uh, we'll start walking down there. Well, before we climb down from here, Jay just walked over there and uh, noticed there's more parts of the derrick, so we're gonna take a look. Steel plate. <coughs> oh, yeah, we can kind of see down the quarry here. You can. Oh, wow. Yeah. Should I go get the stick, or are you going to want to poke down there? I no, I think I can walk down here. Okay. I'm not going to walk down there. You're good. One of us has to stay up here in case the other one goes flying. But yeah, that is. That looks like cats. Oh, that's heavy. That's heavy as hell. <laughs> yeah, that ain't moving. <laughs> How much you say that weighs? <laughs> as much as your car? Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look over here. Yeah, I told you it's a very photogenic spot right here. Yeah. Very cool. All right, we're gonna go climb down to the quarry now. All right, so on our way down here, we noticed uh, we can actually get to that pole uh, that that wire was connected to. And there is that pole. Yeah, here we'll take that. Wow, the cables go everywhere. Yes. Oh, and wait till I turn right and look at the view from here. Look at this. This whole thing rotated? That's what it looks like. That what? would be my guess that it... Alright, I hope somebody down in the comments knows how all this works. Or can give us a good link that... Uh, That'll explain it? Explain it, because this is, this is cool. I am mind blown. So like, what, did this rotate to take up the slack on the cables? Or to pull, or to pull stuff? That's a tall post. Yeah, and if you look in here, there's also gears inside of here. So you had cables come through here probably to rotate this, honestly. And then look at this this boom arm over here or something. This rotated up and down. Yeah. Yeah, it broke. Oh, it is broken. There's a, there's a pulley on the other end of it, too. That is peek at the quarry. Wood. What were they saying, 1929? Uh, I don't, uh, it was, uh, I believe, like... 1860s to 1960s or something like that. Yeah, there's the quarry. Oh, uh, quarry's right there. Yeah, let's go take a look over this side here. I don't know how you get down there. That's gonna be a nice propel. Yeah, I don't know if we want to. I don't know if we want to be that adventurous. We got some more cables down here. From oh. here, you could get a drone in the quarry though, because you could stay below this cable. This is just a guy cable, it looks like. Yeah, oh, let's just check over here. They're all guyed off. You go ahead. Oh. Kit down right here for the time being. It's a smell pole. What the heck is this? It's not that heavy. Oh, and we got more cables here too. Yeah, right here. Those cables are surprisingly... Uh, and that's a long way down. The cables are surprisingly easier to move than I thought. There you go, you have a winch up there, sir. Huh? You have a winch right up there. Oh, I did. <laughs> I think the camera just panned past it. I didn't even look at it. That is a winch. Let's go to get a closer look at that. <laughs> if I don't break I'll one of my you. ankles. I'll, here you go. No, I'm good. You want the stick? No. No, there's a good path over here. I'll leave you to go up there.
Ah, look at this. It's all just piping. Wonder where that oh, that uh It dumped, yeah, I was just, uh, I was just looking, that pipe dumps out at that little pond that we were looking at. Yeah, and look on the other side. It goes straight across the whole quarry. Does it? To the left of you, yeah. I have to get, I have to get higher up and over this. So let's just step over this here. Let's see. That just goes straight through all that rock. That's quite the pulley system. I'm yeah, you, you might want to come over here, Jay, and uh, go over to that pipe over there. Yeah, you might want to come over here, Jay. Just, yeah, stay to the right. This is the perfect spot to launch the drones from. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is cool. Come over here in the shade. But look at this pipe, though. How far does this pipe go? Does it just keep going? Forever? Forever, ever? Going. I don't know how far I can follow it. What do you see that I don't see? I'm following the pipe. I'll come back and we'll launch the drones in a second. It takes a bend here. Oh, and then it hits a T. Let's go look at that. Mm. And a little valve on it. This side just is capped off or just turned down. Check valve. Doubt it moves. Yeah. And this side goes into the ground. Oh, and then it goes down further. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to walk down that. But yeah. Wake up late. Oh, maybe. Then maybe that's how they pumped water out. Yeah. Cool. All right, we're gonna. You go can back actually and... go down right there too. Oh yeah. That is looking hikeable. Possibly. We'll come this way afterwards. Yeah, let's go back and watch the drones from that spot. <laughs> Alright, so we made it to the top, and uh, we're going to launch the drone here. Absolutely. I got the drone here. That's the controller you want. While we get set up. Meat stick? Yes. Meat stick. Meat stick. <laughs> Oh, you guys are going to be mind blown. This is a beautiful place. Pretty confident you got a float. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bye, buddy.
Maybe a good idea. We're gonna send the drone up over this valley uh, for a final shot here. We're just making sure that uh, everything is secure. And it's looking like the valley we're targeting is at least a half mile, maybe a mile out. So, yeah. Might even be able to get a good range test out of this. Yes. Might want to swap the battery. Ah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Because that valley... We can see really far here. That valley is like a mile out, and then you have the mountain ranges behind that. So, yeah. <laughs> Battery, sir? You want to give me a new one? All right. Your uh, batteries are in my case. Uh, freshy? Yeah, kids, before you send your drone out on a horribly far mission, just make sure... Uh, you verify that you have no damage to your props, your props are secure, and you have a fresh battery. That's about all you can do. The rest is up to the drone. Whenever she gets GPS, you are good to take off. Let me free, let me fly, let me fly new kinds of highs. We're just wasting here, waiting for another year. We both know the score, we've been here once before. So many words unspoken, you took my heart, it's already broken. You don't have to wait, I can take the pain. On a new adventure <laughs>